it's Callista. I am <clears throat> sharing this sweater that I just finished. The pattern is written for bottom up, but I actually knit it from the top down, and so I'm going to share kind of how I made that switch. And first I will share just a really quick rundown of the construction for a bottom up and the construction for the top down and how I kind of bridged that gap here. So with bottom up, uh, you will uh, cast on your number of stitches for your sleeve uh, and then knit up until the armpit and then the other sleeve, same. Um, and then you'll do the, the body here cast on your stitches at the bottom, knit up until the armpit. Um, at that point, you will gather all three, you'll have three different pieces. You will put them all on the same long needle and then have some stitches along the bottom of the armpit here. In my case here, it was six stitches. Those will go on waist yarn and then same with the sleeve. And then you'll have all the stitches on except for those on the waist yarn um, all together and then knit from this point up and you're doing decreases in here so you get to a smaller circumference for the neck bind off and then you will do kitchener stitch or graft these uh, stitches underneath so that there is no hole there that is basic super basic bottom up sweater uh construction in contrast if you're doing a top down sweater you will start at the neck you will um, cast on your stitches for the neck knit in a top down fashion doing increases along the yoke uh, put the sleeve stitches on waist yarn and then how we handle underneath the arm is there's you will cast on stitches around the body knit the body down cast off put the stitches that were on a stitch marker or or a stitch holder or waist yarn back on the needles knit down one sleeve knit down the other sleeve um, and then theoretically there should be no holes under the armpits i do have a video on how to minimize those holes so you're not having to sew them up later um, you can see this isn't perfect it just, um, but I mean, when a person is wearing it, it's on, it's in your armpit. Like you're not going to see it. Um, so that's the basic rundown of a top down and a bottom up construction. So this was written, the pattern was written for bottom up. So what I did, and I don't like to do bottom up as much. I just don't like doing separate pieces. Um, I don't really like grafting under the arms, um, I don't like handling the whole sweater going around and around when, when I get up here, um, it's a little more fiddly and heavy. And so I just prefer top down. So what I did was I started at the end of the pattern where it tells you how many stitches you're going to end up with at the neck. And I cast on that many, that many stitches. Then I brought out my color work pattern, um, eagle-eyed folks will notice that this is not the same pattern. I ran out of the dark brown around here-ish. So I just cut it short. And so, um, but anyway, so um, on your pattern, so the X's are where there are no stitches. Um, these little guys are showing where if in a bottom up fashion, you would increase a stitch. But instead of increase or instead of decreasing where these markers are, I increased in that stitch. So um, so as I'm coming down, I'm increasing every couple of rows so I get to the proper number of stitches. At that point, after I finished the chart, I went back and looked at how many stitches I was going to end up with on my big needle after I combined all, after I would have combined all the parts if I had been knitting it bottom up. Most patterns will do that. If they don't, you can add up 
how many they, they will tell you how many stitches you're supposed to end up with with each part and so we just add those up and make sure I have the right number of stitches that way um, and then I looked at the pattern and saw that we were supposed to have six stitches on the underarm from the body six stitches from the arm left on on waist yarn you know if, if we were doing it bottom up to graft later so i i included that in the stitch no i didn't back up so that's how many stitches i cast on when i was doing the underarm part i also knew how many to put on stitch marker or a uh, waist yarn because i knew how many were on the sleeve so then I went ahead and knit down this far, or the length required uh, for the body, did my ribbing and cast off. And then uh, went over here, got my sleeve stitches, picked up those stitches down here, because they didn't. Uh, there weren't any on waist yarn as it would have been if I was bottom up. So I had to pick up those stitches along, along the sleeve the bottom of the sleeve there um same with the sleeves as far as you can see here where my decrease decreases were um i put those in the spots where it would have had an increase had i been going bottom up so it is a little bit of reverse engineering um it isn't quite as simple as just starting at the end of the pattern and working your way back there is a little bit of um I had some working knowledge of how top-down sweaters worked and so I was able to to kind of do that um, the other thing that's super helpful is sweaters really in general are pretty forgiving if you have a couple of stitches wrong you know you maybe um, maybe ended up with one or two stitches not enough on the sleeve or something um, you know, sweaters are stretchy, sweaters are forgiving, um, and so don't sweat it too much. I hope you're having a great day, and happy knitting.